Hey guys, and welcome to Portal 2. So this, I actually only recently played this game for myself. Um, I definitely heard a lot about the Portal games. Um, and I finally decided to give one a try. And <coughs> it was awesome. And I really enjoyed it. Press the X button, please. Um, Sorry. But Patrick has never played any of the Portals. So he's going to play single player. Um, so go ahead and get started. So there is definitely like a lot of talking in the first bit of the game. So we might be just a bit quiet while we're listening to plot. Mm, maybe not. We'll do just all the best. Well, the there's plotters. there's quite a bit. There's a character called Wheatley um, who does a lot of talking. Your your character Shell, she doesn't ever talk. So. It's the other characters that are talking. But he does quite a lot of talking. He's basically, you know, <laughs> setting the stage gross. <laughs> that was nasty. We had Biscuitville for breakfast this morning. It was delicious. It was fucking amazing. I haven't had Biscuitville and I don't even know how long. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe for you, two days. No. Well, I haven't had Biscuitville in a while. Since the last time I got... No, it was back when I still had the truck, because we sat in the bed of the truck. Yeah, that's right. We got... Good morning. Have you have minutes of station for... Like, yep. oh. days. In compliance, compliance with state and federal, and federal regulations, federal regulations federal all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended here. Relaxation Center must we be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. Nice little when you hear the buzzer, room. look up at the ceiling. Hotel room. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Go stand in front of that painting. <laughs> that one, yeah. I stood in front of it. This is art. You, you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Stare at the art. No, stare at it. You should Are you not listening to what he said? I hear it. If you suspect oh, staring at art, I don't want to turn it up so that there's not a lot of feedback. Reflect briefly on this classical music. It's teaching you how to play the game. Oh, well, I know how to do that. Good. It's doing the tutorial. Now, please return to your bed. On how to move and everything. Do I have to follow? Yes, you do. I can't defy the thing. No. In order to do anything, you have to, for the tutorial, in order to get to the game, you have to do exactly what it says. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Immediately. Ah! Oh, God. You look um good. Good, actually. He looks are you like okay? Just How, a are you? So oh, answer that. Alice. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. Yeah, I'm gonna get us out here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. I'm gonna guess you've been there for a while. Huh? Yeah, like it's like falling five apart years and or five days. Or something. No, it right, never, it never said anything. Can you hear me? How long it's been. Hello? I'm up at quite a while. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Stop do you understand really? what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Are you going to? Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just, you just jumped. But never mind. <laughs> say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. No, just jump for everything. All oh, reactor core jump. safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Uh-oh. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? 
you're still the holding on. Man. <laughs> the reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Yeah. Why, folks? Can you see? Who knows how many test subjects there actually were. Why can I make it through? But not enough space. He said he was in charge uh, of 10,000. Just can't get through here. But how many other well, like, I just can't concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Yeah, so basically what's happened is we've been asleep Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and, uh, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, suddenly woke tell up them as far as you know, all the, the last time you checked, are gone. everyone looked pretty much uh, alive, alright? Not can. dead. Okay, he says almost they're not there. dead, but we can safely assume On the other that side the of that wall is one of the old testing the tracks. Remain. There's a piece of equipment uh, in there well, that we're going to need to get out of here. Laboratory you're in I, I think this is, is a docking station. Um, get has ready. It's totally deteriorated. It's been abandoned and it's just. It's literally falling Good apart. news! That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual really override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Look on ascending the man. And he Almost there. To you like you're Remember, stupid. you're looking for a gun that makes holes, <coughs> not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, One more time. hold on this time. Yeah. Let's just kill me a little more. Let's go for it. There we go. Ah, finally, be honest, finally you are free. probably so in no fit state yes, to I run this I particular type of cognitive gauntlet. I finished but, the um, Good luck! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Let it begin. Portal! Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna see your Banging saying. chick. I know. Her name she's is Shell. She's got a nice blood. I know. She's pretty sexy. So like you've got to find yourself. I have no. a face. Yes, you do. I do? Yeah. You'll see yourself plenty of other times, especially once you get a portal gun. So now you've got to find your way around, and you will finally get a portal gun. Human and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. We've also, we've been playing... Pancake is in love with her straw right now. She's playing with my flip-flops as well. But no, we've been playing um, some co-op portal. So Patrick's played co-op before he's played the single player. And... Um, if you feel liquid running down your neck, so, relax, sure, a little bit of lie on your back, familiar and apply immediate pressure to your chest. gameplay at this point. You yeah. are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material well, emancipation grill may have emancipated well, no, the it's, it's a pretty inside your head. Mechanic to figure out. Eventually, you know, I say that now, and I'm going to be all like. Well, the puzzles will start to get more difficult. Um, so you just opened up a portal there. Yeah, what's this one there? You could open up a portal there. So you don't have a portal gun yet, so you're relying on... Right. So you're relying on basically the system creating portals for you. Oh, this is easy. Cool shit. Uh. Mm, excuse me. Oh, nice. it's that fucking biscuit belt, man. So good. I'll be honest, because I didn't have the portal gun to begin with, I was really confused. I was like, what? What? <laughs> I was confused on how this this worked because I didn't have my own portal gun to begin with. 
but Patrick's a lot better at puzzles Good. than I am. So. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently uh, yeah. experiencing, our test environment Honestly, is unsupervised. The first part of Before this game, a Before you get a portal gun and when you testing, finally do get a portal gun, I, I was test. pretty... An amateur science reintegration pretty, uh, associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. It took me way longer than I care to admit. Is it sad that I'm still hungry? No. You only had, what, three biscuits? <laughs> I had two. I have two. But one, one of them was the monster biscuit, no. so it was pretty good. <sighs> no. None of that. Uh, if the Earth is currently too. governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to it. I'll give you a hint. There's never anything in these rooms. <laughs> hey, you never know. I come from adventure style games. No, I know come from let me explore every little bit yep. there are some secrets in this game but it's Ooh, not like secrets. anything you can, but hey, <laughs> it's not like anything you can really get there should be a, a portal device on that podium over there yeah i can't see it though yeah, portal gun. Oh! jk i died hello now you're just a blue water the portal gun? also are you alive that's important should have asked that first Portal gun! Yay! But you can only shoot one color of portal, so you still have to rely on the place to, uh, to get you other places. So you can only shoot one portal at a time now. Does that get updated? Huh? Does that get updated? Yes, it will. It'll get to the point where you can shoot your two portal colors. Um, but for the tutorial part they're like let's start you off slow and just one portal. some emergency testing may require stupid. prolonged interaction with lethal oh, yeah. military androids yes, hmm. rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share to share i always when i played this the first time and because like every wall is portable Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed like in the laws of the robotics, the please note it on your self-reporting yeah, form. Of like a future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. They all kind of look, they all kinda have like a... That is really sickening. <laughs> 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 oh, it's like that biscuit bill is going to start rumbling around in there. But, um... But yeah, they just, I don't know, the texture on them just kind of makes like make them look like they're squishy you can just walk up and just squish them and it's like you're just in a this next test <laughs> is very dangerous to help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death smooth jazz will be deployed in so three two one well it's actually quite <laughs> It's actually, I, you should probably listen because it's pretty. I don't want it like it's way loud right now, and it doesn't need to be way loud right now. Um, you could have just put a portal underneath the box, and it would have just fallen out. But yeah, I don't do that. But um, but no, like listen to him and listen to Glados, and I mean really listen to everybody because a lot of what they have to say is clever and fun, and and it's just funny a lot of the time. Yep, see, it'll just fall out. Hmm. What's in there? That's where, where you came, came from? from. There's another. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Where are you going? I just. I mean, I, you never know. I just like to check things out. Go do you know what you're supposed to do? Yeah. You sure? Nope. Nor do I care. I don't want you to tell me. Why the fuck would I have you tell me? I'm trying not to tell Good. you. Good. Good, don't. E. Got it. There you go. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> oh, well, fuck yourself then. I'm hoping we're not getting any uh, feedback from the volume in the TV. Uh, 
unreason. You want to know the worst part? Yeah. I halfway recognize like equations like this. Oh no, I'm sure you would. Except actually. for this right here. Well, a lot that of that doesn't mean anything. Those yeah, are... I was gonna say a lot of it is nonsense as well. Yeah. But there but actually I mean, like... are like I've I've read up on some of the stuff that you like some of the secrets of portal and there's quite a lot of like i know yeah like i know somewhere in the second game i don't know if it's in like the co-op or if it's in the single player i don't remember but there is a I place where on here. i think it's the co-op because you can uh oh, that's where it came from what the fuck that's oh. where you need to go um my bad but um i think it is in the co-op but somewhere like where you're put the disc in the thing and GLaDOS starts talking to you and then she blows you up but somewhere in like the computer screens that that um, are scrolling really fast after you put the disc in the machine it'll put like I know it'll put the chocolate cake recipe somewhere in there <coughs> if the enrichment center is currently being so bombarded with like fireballs like meteorites like or other objects from around. space please avoid unsheltered <laughs> testing areas bad. wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test I'm ashamed to say how many times I had to look up a walkthrough. Not not for this. I didn't look up any walkthroughs for this first part, but for the. Uh, but for the. Uh, later on in the game, the puzzles get pretty difficult, and I am ashamed to say that I still needed to look up walkthroughs for quite a while. Whee! It's, oh. Oh, oh damn! I didn't, I didn't know that. That's ah, that's so. garbage. You got it. You got it. Perfect. Good job. They do get more difficult. Well, I'm assuming so. Kind of how these kind of things. Well work. done. The enrichment yeah, center reminds you that although circumstances yeah, may yeah, appear bleak, yeah. you are not alone. All right, well, we're science end it right personality here. constructs will remain Patrick's functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 uh, volts. Well, we're going to end it here. Out. Welcome to... No, we're, we'll keep going, but we're going to end the episode. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we'll be back tomorrow at 7 with probably some more Portal. Subscribe if you haven't, Scribble Dude. And we'll see you tomorrow at 7. Bye!